Welcome back to Afternoon Express and good timing because we're about to get stuck in the kitchen with the incredible Alice Twitch, a lady who is even more talented on the canvas than she is in the kitchen and you're a goddess in the kitchen. So we're going to start with our vegan donuts. So today, we, yeah, we're going to start with our vegan donuts. I'm just going to do a little disclaimer. If you do see any paint splatters all over my hands, yes. that is from the studio today. They're nice and washed and clean, so ready to dip. <laughs> She's mini Van Gogh, put it that way. <laughs> okay, now what makes them vegan? So basically, as I said earlier, these were a normal recipe I had that used butter and eggs, and um, a lot of my friends went vegan, and now... Um, I've basically substituted the butter for coconut oil, which yeah. is delicious and gives it that coconutty flavor. The milk for some coconut milk and the egg, um, something fantastic I discovered, which is this, a vegan egg, they call it. It's a tablespoon of flaxseed um, yeah. with three tablespoons of water. Let it kind of get together and it's your binder. Is vegan necessarily more healthy for you? I think in many regards, anything that makes you question what you're about to put in your mouth just by default is healthier for you because you're not just kind of grabbing anything and saying, yeah. oh, I eat, I eat this, I eat that, I eat Vienna's, not stopping and going, oh, well, what exactly goes into that? So exactly. as a vegan, you have to question a lot and, and that, that opens up a Let's lot. Let's not go into what goes into Vienna's though. No, <laughs> nobody really, really knows. <laughs> well, we know it goes into these, luckily. <laughs> okay, so then what goes into them? Let's start. So we're gonna start with five tablespoons of um, Coconut, coconut oil, oil. and uh, coconut you kind oil's of, amazing. It's so delicious, isn't it? Just a wonderful thing. I'm actually quite grateful that we had some left because I usually use it as my body moisturizer. Oh, that, well, <laughs> if it makes me have glowing, beautiful skin yeah. like you, I'm going to start doing that. So we can mix. Would you like to? Yeah, start yeah, yeah. Whisk? I'll mix for you. But awesome. Do you want with that or a normal spoon? No, whisk is perfect. Okay. So you can still start whisking up. That's coconut oil, um, which is kind of at room temperature, a little bit more solid than you know melted. Yeah. And some caster sugar. Into that, we're going to add some vanilla paste or vanilla essence in this case, um, and then our vegan egg. Okay. You're doing such a good job there. That's all nice. coming. The one thing with these vegan donuts is once the flour goes in, you don't want to mix them too much because they'll fall flat and they're not going to give that beautiful rise that you want. So okay. here's our baking powder. I'm just going to put that into the flour, yeah. and um, there's also a tiny little pinch of salt in there. Before we do that, I'm going to pour all the delicious coconut milk. And this gives another little mm -hmm. coconutty flavor into there, which is so yummy. I actually prefer these after adapting them to my normal recipe. They just, they knock it out the park with okay. this extra coconut flavor. And what sugar did you use in here, like normal sugar? Caster sugar. I like it's a bit finer and it just kind of amalgamates much quicker. So there we go. Okay, and that's as soon salati as caster that's sugar. Salati caster okay. sugar. I'm not really good at this, but I'm going to try. You're doing it's a, a good job. Yeah. Okay, so good. the moment you see it kind of clinging together as a dough, yeah. um, that's exactly what you want. And okay. once it all gets ready together, I mean, you <laughs> do another literally minute of that. Luckily, right here today, we have this. Yeah. And it's just been put into a piping bag. You can use a round tip nozzle if you want. Okay. It makes it a bit easier. And my um, my other tip is that when you, if you have a donut pan at home such as this, <laughs> when I said I like to make dough, I was talking about money. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect, Jeannie. You've made enough dough today. Okay. Jeannie, which is good job. Well done. That's good job. Ready for a time. You've worked out, so now you get to enjoy the donut. Exactly. Um, one thing I will say is when you're either greasing these with coconut oil or spraying them with vegetable oil, make sure that you get um, a grease a bit around each little thing little so that thing. they pop yeah. out nicely. And, um, yeah, we can put this right over here. Great. We'll cut this, and we're just going to basically fill... Now that you've done all the hard work, I'll have the fun. <laughs> yeah, enjoy. <laughs> we're just going to fill each pan at about halfway. So you can go once around and then kind of a little bit... They're going to rise up in the oven with all that baking powder. Yeah. So anything like that is kind of perfect, actually. So do all of those guys together pop them in the oven 180 i prefer a fan oven because it makes them rise nicely and give that nice height and um another little trick is when they come out let them cool for about five minutes oh, so that and they then don't stick. yeah so that okay. they don't stick and they don't you know you don't want to break them when they come out and then give them a gentle with a teaspoon you know if they've baked you just give them a little tug at the bottom and then you can lift them up you don't want to like break them apart and Baked don't baked donuts. Baked donuts are, um, you know, I'd like to think a slight bit healthier than the deep fried version. Exactly. And then ta da ta da! This is what they turn out like. Now let's get busy with the decorating because that's the best part. That's the fun part. So if we were going 100% vegan with these, I would suggest that you stick with your, um, you know, edible petals, some delicious coconut which you can toast, sure. some nuts. Can get some vegan chocolate and chop it up um and if you've got you know guests that aren't vegan and you just want to make these again they are vegan donuts but they 
that doesn't really mean anything. They're just good for everyone. Exactly. Um, and not only vegans. Not <laughs> only vegans can enjoy. So we're making just a little mixture of some water and um, icing sugar. Yeah. I kind of like to dip a couple in this nice white, beautiful, like snow fallen glaze. And yeah. then I kind of like to throw in some pink. Um, I mean, yeah, pink course. is always a good idea. Definitely. <laughs> um, so we can kind of we go... We need these donuts to match your hair. So let's first do yes. some with white. And then, and then how do you dunk them? Go ahead. So you kind of just dip them in, give them a little drip, and then put them straight away back on here. And they have that beautiful kind of sunk. You want those little perfect, I like to call it a Simpson drip, you know? Yeah. Donuts on the Simpsons have always got that tiny little drip. <laughs> and while they are kind of still drying, I like to do kind of three or two at a time. You just start to sprinkle about and... There's some chocolate chips. These are gorgeous edible flowers, which we're so spoiled with now in spring. They're just everywhere. Yeah, I love an edible flower. Some nuts. Do you want to have... You can kind of go wild on any of these. And okay. We have just a bunch of treats here. I'm going to go with more white. And then I think after this one, you can go with more pink. Yes, let's make them... <laughs> and these are also, go. as I said earlier, they're a very good... You know, um, can't stay mad at me treat. No, They're I'm a totally, peace treaty. We will never be enemies. Ever. We'll never be frenemies. <laughs> these are amazing and it's quite cathartic to do as well. But we're going to carry on with the decorating of these fabulous things. Remember, if you want the recipe, all you have to do is go to afternoonexpress.co.za. We'll give you the shopping list. We'll give you the recipes. We'll give you everything except for our hands to make them for you. You can do that on your own. Right now, over to you, Danilo. Oh, my word.